hey guys uh, welcome to my channel data driven decision in this channel i talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff uh, if you are down for that please subscribe to my channel and check out the awesome good videos which i make which can help you in your data science journey so let's further to let's get started for today's video today's video is all about the while loop you can see that i have already written the code so today's what we'll do is that uh, i'm just writing so today what we do we just compare basically we will compare while loop in python and julia okay so you can just compare these two languages based on the while loop so how the while loop is uh, look different in the both languages maybe you uh, maybe you heard the while loop but it look is similar kind of concept like for loop but it little different like uh, it give you the condition like while it is something is happening until that it is going to execute that otherwise it is not going to execute that so for that what you do is that you just uh, uh, I'm just removing this so now you can see that I have written this code so in this code is basically here so I have given a name is a variable that is a data driven decision so I've given it and also I have give initialized a variable that is i i equal to zero so now if I check while condition I'm given while i less than length of name okay so length of name is basically what is the length would be so it, it is just so see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so the length of this particular variable the name data driven decision is 19 okay so while i less than 19 basically here so i equal to 0 the initial i is 0 then now i less than 19 then it is going to execute this print statement print what is this it is basically the name given i so you have to give the index of that so zero index is d so it is going to give then a then t then a so in this way it is going to print out all the uh, basically the characters in the string so data driven decision it is going to print that until when until it is less than less than 19 basically so 0 1 2 3 it will be till 18 basically 0 1 2 3 if you consider 0 it will be 90 so and how it is going to increase i equal to i plus 1 so i is 0 so 0 plus 1 so if i write like this so it is going to be write it like this so first i equal to 0 okay then it is going to execute that it is going to uh, output d okay then i equal to i plus 1 so it is 0 plus 1 okay. now i become 1 okay so now it is going to print a now i is going to be 2 it is going to be t so in this way it is going to print until it is less than 19 so it will be uh, 18 basically so it will work till 0 to 18 in python okay in python it is going to work like this okay so if i remove this and if i just run this cell you can see that you can see like uh, data driven decision it has been printed already uh, so it is going to execute like this the way i have told you so it is going to iterate one by one and it is going to paint the individual characters of the whole string okay so the same thing you can also do in the julia so if i go to the julia notebook over here so in the julia notebook i have written that same code in a julia format and you can see that over here i have also given the name as a variable data driven decision and i initiate i equals to one so while i less than equals to length and it is going to do something like this and at the end it is going to end that okay so why it is a little different so over here i equal to zero 
but over here i equals to 1 the reason we will definitely have that question so reason definitely be so in julia basically index started 1 so the index of this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and so on and this is 19 okay this is 18 so in this way so i equal to 1 means so the first i print i so this is going to be d okay then 2 3 4 in this way it is going to equals to 19 so if it started 1 then it has to be uh, end at the 19 because it is length of this is 19 so equals to we have to give in that way but in python you did not uh, give any equals to if you see that in python you haven't give anything okay any uh, equals to you have provided over there in python so if i go to julian notebook again and uh, and only the difference is at the end over here you have to uh, give the end end to close that particular while loop and in python we have used the colon where it is blinking right now there in the we have used the colon but over here we haven't used any colon so that is the difference otherwise it is same similar kind of thing so if i remove uh, the text over here and if i run this cell you can see that uh, it is going to print the similar way. Okay. okay, so it's a very short video to showcase how the while loops is all about. So, to hope you like the video. Uh, if you like it, please see my other videos. And if you don't see the for loops and the tuple unpacking and all, so you can just check that out in that uh, card which I've given above. Uh, see you soon. I'll come with a more new videos. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.